hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome i'm having a baby and yeah i am 38 weeks so today we gonna pack a baby bag well hospital bag we're packing both of our bags today today i'm coming to y'all real unfiltered no makeup 38 weeks pregnant okay my glow is still there i'm still claiming that glow first of all um but if you clicked on this video then you might be pregnant or you might just like watching baby stuff but my due date is valentine's day so uh yeah it's well overdue and today i spent time getting this stuff together all of that together i might do like a haul not a haul it's not called a haul I might do a tour just so y'all could see because we are sharing a room so i might do like a room tour but we'll see we'll see anyways um i am looking grungy i came to y'all real raw and filtered like i said and um don't mind my sweatshirt it said protect black women and i did it myself it was the first time i ever did something on my cricket and now you see you, you see what the result was so um yeah we're just gonna get right into the video let me go ahead and show y'all my pregnancy bump my 38 weeks my my back is hurting okay 38 weeks there we go i'll show y'all what it looks like okay this is my little man y'all see how i be poking out like this is my ribs it's just like poking out it's very weird but yep this is him <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get into the video. So we'll start up with his stuff first. I packed, so basically, um, he has this, he has this outfit, it's like a coat. I want him to wear this home because he's a winter baby. Um, I'm in Virginia, so it's not that cold, but it's cold, it's cold. So, i want him to wear this of course he doesn't need anything extravagant underneath it so i'm not trying to like plan his outfits but i pick stuff out because i was like just so excited i finally got to pick out my son's clothes like let's plan your clothes like what are you wearing son but it's unnecessary underneath this so i put stuff back and i re-planned it out so i have three different outfits that i'm gonna bring just in case depending on my mood that day now the first outfit is this these pants they're gray with this shirt that he has customized it says baby aj i love you a ton with the elephant his theme that we're going with is elephants so that is the first outfit then the next one is a onesie there's something cute really simple like i said it just depends on my mood that day so i'm just trying to bring like options and of course i'm bringing a onesie to go underneath or a classic black and white outfit black um oh some lint black pants and a classic classic onesie long sleeve got these from carter's um and both of these are newborns the so two of these are newborns the first outfit um with his name on it the first one is one that one's not newborn but there's no telling how big he's gonna be or how he's gonna fit into it so we'll see and then i also got this hat it's white and gray so he'll be able to wear with whatever he puts on and i also bought these little socks 
Look how cute. They're so tiny. Also these mittens that are also gray. Just everything monotone. Okay. So we're, we'll see. Um, like I said, we'll see what, what he puts on when he's coming home. But that's pretty much what I'm gonna pack for him. Um, I do have this blanket, which is blue. It's not really a blanket, it's more like to burp him. Um, so yeah, like a receiving blanket, whatever, it's to burp him basically. And then I have this blanket as well. This thing is like thin, but there's a lot and he's tiny. So I'm assuming that like, and just, you know, he'll be good. He'll be warm. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to bring. I'm not bringing anything else for him because there's not really a necess uh, necessity to bring other stuff because they're going to have everything like diapers and whatever else. I'm not bringing a pacifier anything like that just just as close next i have this thing right here it was gifted to me by a friend and they honestly like this is like i put this on my baby shower i really didn't think that anyone was gonna buy it because of the price but honestly i'm so happy that i got it so as you can see there's socks right here for the hospital i'm gonna pack my own socks as well because these look cute but i also want fuzzy ones too and then they also have the uh it's a robe it's like basically it comes down so if you want a nurse and easy access um just like a standard hospital nurse but freedom mom style as these are the um instant ice maxi pads um honestly they're pretty thick but we'll see i mean uh, we'll see but yeah i have these so they there's four in the pack. And then it also comes with this super cute bag. That's like so handy. And in here, there is the, there's this, I forgot what it's called, but um, yeah, if you're, if you're expecting mom, you know what this is. I got disposable underwear. Um, I'm not gonna open it up, actually, can I? I'm not even gonna take it out because I really love how it's, everything is packaged in here. I have cooling pad liners. And then there's also healing foam uh, to get your right okay, y'all hear me? So I let, I'm gonna just pack this all right back up how it is um, but yeah this is a super cute bag and then there's also a pocket in the back I'll probably be utilizing this for other stuff like the stuff that I'm bringing but we'll see okay so next I have my personals that I'm bringing like soap and stuff and um, so I have my soap it is from Bath and Body Works this stuff smells so good but it's called hello beautiful um it's just a regular body wash and i have my lotion um i've never really spent much time in a hospital but from what everyone's saying they're like bring moisturizer this stuff is so thick if you have this it's so thick like i'm kind of debating if i want to bring another one too but i have my oil that i put on my stomach so i'll probably pack that um like the day of going to the hospital so we'll see um but more than likely next i have my toothbrush and my toothpaste because obviously <laughs> uh then i have my deodorant 
this stuff is so good and it's honestly so affordable it's um, made without aluminum parabens and I don't know this word but yeah it's made without all this stuff it's supposed to be so good for you and it's the oatmeal scent love it so much and then I have a water bottle or a spray bottle just in case obviously my hair is not done now I slept on this this is like day two undone hair but in the hospital I'm pretty sure like my hair is long enough to put back so we'll see then I have my Glossier bag that's like worn down but I keep all my hair stuff in it well took some stuff out but this is what I'm bringing like my brush um ponytail holders and then I have my cream of nature leave-in conditioner um the only thing that's missing from this is my Cantu leave-in conditioner which is like my go-to product right now but obviously I need it till then so hopefully I don't forget it by the time that I am rushing to go out the door okay now we're gonna get to the clothes um this is the most indecisive part because I just I've never been through this I've never spent time in a hospital I've never I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm just assuming so um first we're gonna start off with like underwear and stuff so oh my gosh what is all this lint string okay so I have this sports bra it's super comfortable and like super stretchy so I'm assuming that that might be great for comfort um, but I'm also bringing nursing bras as well. Now, I haven't tried these on, but these are the ones that, like, they're actual nursing bras. You can, like, clip it down, and, um, yeah, hopefully they fit when <laughs> I go to the hospital. Because, like I said, I haven't tried them on, but they're definitely, they're, like, labeled as nursing sport, which I don't really know what that means, but... I guess we'll figure it out. I just really want something that's supportive, but not like restri restrictive. Um, so I have two of those. Uh, and then in terms of underwear, I'm just bringing like, well, I already have the disposable ones. Um, so there's not really much to bring, but I guess these are backups where I'm bringing like a pair of black um, underwear. And these are definitely like, underwear not like little skimpy cute things and then i'm bringing a new pair and then i also have a pair that i've had forever and they're like i used to wear them when i was modeling sometimes but um basically it's like spandexy but they're not restrictive they're just like they come up higher so um definitely need these uh so then i also decided to pack like socks i have a pair of fuzzy socks and i also have a pair of black fuzzy socks that have like the things on the bottom you know um and then i bought two pairs of black ankle socks well like they come above your ankle um and then i also have these as well like the copper ones the compression so you never know i guess that's what I'm, I'm assuming i don't know um then i'm also bringing my scarf because it just feels fitting and um so yeah that is gonna be in terms of that i do have i do have these slippers um but these aren't going into the bag until literally the day of because i wear these literally all the time so for what I'm actually going to be wearing, I'm assuming I'll probably have on the, the gown more than often. And um, so that gown that I showed y'all and then also the actual hospital gown. Um, but we'll see. But you never know how long you're going to end up staying or what you're going to end up like doing. So I'm bringing multiple things. But I'm bringing multiple things. I'm bringing multiple outfits. But the first thing that I'm bringing is these leggings i got these from walmart um in the plus size section they're by um tara and sky they're a size zero x but they come up so high like they might as well be maternity leggings like 
that's how i've been wearing them um and i wear them so much that they're like see-through now but i usually have something like long enough over it which for me i'm bringing like this big cardigan which is like it's eddie bauer it's not a cardigan it's a sweat crew neck it's not a crew neck either um but it's a 2xl and it's pretty lightweight it's pretty thin i don't know if you guys can see but it's pretty thin and so i'm just gonna bring this because it's huge um and i know i, I know for my pants exactly i know people have said like don't wear leggings but also i'm the type of person like if i'm on my period or anything like that like i don't like loose stuff i like stuff to make me feel like everything's like secure um so i feel like as long as i have these and then something loose on top to go over i should be good but i'm also bringing loose stuff as well because like i said i've never been through labor before so i'm bringing sweats that are black and then also a looser pair that are gray um these are way looser and way more comfortable so if i'm just not in the mood for something tight then yeah but then also if i do decide to wear these pants i'm going to uh i brought these compression shorts they're from fashion nova they're just super stretchy but definitely if like we'll just see how the combos play out because like i said usually i like things that are like kind of tighter just so i feel like more secure and like nothing's moving around down there <laughs> anyways next we have this shirt i wear this all the time but it is like oversized from urban outfitters it's just a Jimi hendrix shirt and as you can see it's huge so um it's it could pretty much go for like a nightgown to be honest but obviously i'm gonna be wearing pants but still it's that it's on those vibes and then same as this i like paint and do whatever in the shirt clean whatever um and it's huge so and it's so stretchy too I'm like these might be the vibes actually while i'm getting while i'm going through what i'm going through now in terms of coming home i'll probably just wear like leggings and that gray eddie bauer sweater thing but i did want to get like something like this which this is a men's 2xl i think um and like it's from walmart like six dollars or so but i want to get it and do my cricket to say something like mama or something like that just to be so cute but also I keep it oversized because as you can see like it's huge on me so um this will definitely be comfortable as well other things that i did not mention um super long chargers i actually use a charger like in my house so that's why it's not getting packed yet but i definitely got a super long charger i think my grandma got this from like five below so if you're looking for one like definitely check out your nearest five below they'll definitely have one or maybe even amazon and then i have a camera um this camera is like one you have to take and get develop i'm really into pictures and i know like as my childhood like i'm a i was born in 96 so i was like right at the end of like these wind up cameras like it was kind of normal to get your pictures developed or like go to walmart or whatever um then camera phones came along and yeah but um i want a lot of pictures taken of aj so he can have these memories as well i know like like obviously i'm gonna be taking pictures on my phone too and videos but like there's nothing like a like an actual developed picture in my opinion like not one that you go get developed from your phone like an actual film picture so definitely bringing that and then also you want to make sure or i guess from what i heard you want to make sure that you're also bringing um your own set of towels as well um and for me i didn't have shampoo and conditioner because i don't plan on washing my hair there uh if you wash your hair more frequently then i would suggest you do that um but i don't wash my hair every day so 
we'll see um, if y'all see anything missing please don't hesitate to let me know because like i said i'm a first time mom so i don't know i'm just going off what everyone else is saying to do um so i mean and if if something is forgotten i'm literally like two minutes from the hospital so a matter of just coming back to the house and getting it like my grandma coming back to the house and getting it so not that big of a deal so yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and pack it and um you guys can watch me do that <laughs> okay y'all so that is it i am done packing look how she's looking it's like she literally knows that something's going on like she's actually she know she can she can sense like when i started packing my bag she's like packing your bag to go where so oh my gosh look how it's okay baby so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um yeah he's almost here i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited and um i'm so excited I just all right i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go all right see you guys in the next video